Well, we're here today to grow the commentary skills of some of our young women that are coming off the tour, the likes of Casey Delacqua and Sam Stozer that wants to get into the broadcast world once she actually hangs up the racket. So, and it's, it's something that I'm really aware of as a player that came into this area that you really learn on your feet and I think it's a great opportunity for Tennis Australia and T8 Broadcast to, to really hone the skills of people and get them ready um, for what um, commentary is about um, as an expert, uh, um, as a lead commentator, as a presenter, as a host and all of those sorts of things. Oh look it's just been um, a fantastic experience to continue upskilling ourselves in both the commentary booth and um, in front of the camera as well presenting. Um, I mean lots of us have different experiences so it was just coming together in a safe environment as well and just learning from Todd Woodbridge who's so experienced himself as well as Stephanie Brantz who's had, had such a variety of experiences so very worthwhile. Thing you're doing is very much in this tone and it all starts goes up here and then comes down there and then it goes up here and then it comes down there and it's always it's just like a repetitive broadcast thing you could go be natural hello and welcome back to AO Extra those like this are actually amazing they didn't exist for ever since I can remember and it's so valuable to actually be taught the basics of what you should and shouldn't do. Just the, the studio discipline, the commentary booth discipline, and it puts you straight ahead of your competitors uh, already on the starting line. And they're things that some people never ever get told and they'll do things that aren't right for the duration of their careers. So this is incredibly valuable. We all stumble. I actually think it makes television look live. Yeah. And it, in fact, occasionally a pause or something works. Oh, this is an amazing opportunity. Um, we were just saying, you know, sometimes you do a commentary match here and there and you don't really get much feedback and don't know whether you did a good job, bad job, except maybe from your friends at home if, you, if they watched and that was it. So to actually be able to practice and learn how it all works and all of that I think is really invaluable. So I know next time I go into this I'll actually have a bit of an idea about what's going on, what I should try and improve. The biggest thing that came out from a lot of the um, even video packages and that we watched was to be yourself and be natural. There's plenty more to come here on AO Extra and we look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you, goodbye. The Novak grab, after talking about, well Novak would know, he's won seven of them, then she's going to get a final thought on how Murray's going to go and then she'll say goodbye. So okay. it's like you've only got four or five things to say. I think I come from a little bit of a different perspective too because I'm still playing, I'm still doing interviews where I'm talking about myself but I think just having more information about what it's like to actually be the presenter and the person asking the questions gives me a little bit of a different perspective going into interviews and kind of I think I can almost deliver my messages clearer and more concise as well. You can just see the mutual respect there. Um, how do you think that his comeback is going to impact the whole tennis, the tennis community obviously thinking that we weren't going to have him back ever again? Hello and welcome to AO Extra. My name is Taylor Capanolo and alongside me is, well, Australia's little darling, professional tennis player, Kimberly Birrell. I actually thought they were great and it's interesting because you always find it difficult if you commentate something that you already know the result of, but they really nailed it and some great lines. Three, two, one, QKC. Hello and welcome to our first episode of AO Extra. I am thrilled to be joined by US Open champion Sam Stoza and we are going to be talking all things Andy Murray today. So for him to return um, is something I'm sure the whole tennis world is really excited about. You hope they all take away something a little different but it's, I think in, in this case it's about um, you know, understanding how prepared you have to be. Things don't happen in broadcast by accident, even though sometimes anything can happen. Live TV is the most unpredictable thing. Former number one player, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's so awkward doing it with your friend. <laughs> Whoa. No, because I just was, I felt like I was so disrespecting her right then, and then I thought about that, and then I was like, oh shit. Sorry, can I do it again?